Today's video is going to show you how to do conditional formatting using a date range uh, in Microsoft Excel. So uh, this, this uh, request came up in a class that I was teaching today. And the request was, we want to highlight all of the, uh, the dates that are coming up within the next 90 days. Uh, so we're going to do a conditional formatting. And uh, we're going to highlight, you know, the, the column with the dates and uh, or we just do that that one range. You would highlight your data. Conditional formatting, of course, is under the home menu and I'll pick on conditional formatting. Now, in this case, you're going to do a formula. So you do something that's called new rule. And then you say use a formula to determine which cells to format. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, type in the formula here. So it's actually going to use an and because we have to uh, say between you know, two different dates. So one way to do it is with the and formula. So I'm going to say equals and open parentheses. Now notice how my first cell is um, 01. So that's going to play into the formula here. So I'm going to say dollar sign 01 uh, greater than or equal to today. Today is a built in function that Excel has that um, represents today's date or the current date. So I'm going to type in a comma to separate the uh, conditions for the and. And then I'll say dollar sign 01 less than or equal to today um, plus 90. So that really means 90 days from today's date. So look at my formula. I have equals and open parentheses dollar sign 01 greater than or equal to today open parentheses close parentheses comma dollar sign 01 less than or equal to today open parentheses close parentheses plus 90 close parentheses so that really means that the the 01 uh, or the the number in um, the date in uh, column o is going to be between today's date and 90 days from today's date the reason I have a dollar sign before the O is actually an absolute reference. I always want to look at column O. Now, the reason I don't have a dollar sign before the one is because I want the number to, the, that number to change for each different row. All right, so this will apply to the whole formula, to the whole column. And again, the reason I have the number one here is because I did start my selection uh, you know, at the first row. If I had started my selection at the fifth row, then I would really change that to the number five. Uh, in this case, I'm going to pick on format. And then you would pick whatever format that you want. So I'm going to make it uh, the white letters. And for the fill, I'll pick on bright red. So we'll have white on red, so it'll really stand out. And I'll click on OK. Now, when I'm running this, notice how the date is July 16th, 2014. So it picked up October 13th, October 1st. 9 1, 9 15, 7 16, 7 17, 7 18, and 7 19. You can see that they're all within uh, 90 days of uh, July 16th. Notice how it didn't pick up July 14th because that would have been in the past, right? So I'm looking between today's date and 90 days from today's date. That's why it didn't pick up the 11th and the 9th here. But it looks like it worked pretty well. So let's take a look at that formula again. I'll go back to conditional formatting and here I'll say manage rules and in this case I'll say edit rule so take a look at the formula it's going to use the and function e equals and open parentheses dollar sign 01 greater than or equal to today open parentheses close parentheses comma so that comma is really separating the um, conditions for the and uh, dollar sign 01 less than or equal to today open parentheses, close parentheses, plus 90, close parentheses. So it's really saying if the date is uh, greater than today, greater than or equal to today, or the current date, and less than or equal to um, today's date plus 90, which is 90 days out. And that's how you can actually do a date range with uh, conditional formatting. I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. And click on OK again.